what is up youtube i'm back on my channel with another reaction this time to tower of god season 3 episodes 79 and 80. so now i haven't recorded anything for two weeks because yeah personal shit i've been trying to get my driving license and i've passed one of the exams i have two left so yeah for about one more month i won't be too active but after that I'll start grinding you to panel. But yeah, nonetheless, you don't actually care about this shit. You're probably here because of the Tower of Attraction. Because yeah, that's what this video is all about, right? So yeah, without being said, guys, I won't be wasting any more of your time since the last time I read this was literally two weeks ago. Since as you can see, I have two chapters to read through. So yeah, let's just jump straight into the chapters and hopefully just hopefully this time my stream won't end up lagging because yeah last time it was just horrendous but yeah this time it works fine for now so yeah let's get going with the reaction right now okay tower of god season 3 episode 79 also as my chat is saying up above me right now Join my Discord if you want to communicate with my community and with me. I will really appreciate it if you do it. But yeah, let's start reading through this bitch. Oh yeah, last time White showed up. Like, he didn't show up, but he got on Bam's ass, literally. I look forward to the feast that fate has prepared for me. White's here. And he is acting kind of sus with the way he's handling his blade and all, like you know, his fucking Ari special technique. It's kind of sus. On the same field as me. Yeah, he is on the same field as me. You should have just listened to me when I offer you to help you. Crap, I'm totally cornered. It's too late to change signs now. Ugh. But I'm not sure how helpful that regular will be in a fight with White. And I think I've been wondering about for a while now. Why does every fucker on the battlefield keep saying that Bam is a fucking regular? Like, bitch, he's an irregular. I'm pretty sure that by now, uh, in the entirety of Jihad's army should know this shit. But yeah, apparently they don't. Uh, fucking bot. Wow. Nice job, mods. Uh, by the way, tell me if the stream starts lagging, just in case, guys. Because, yeah, I'm fucking anxious about this bitch. But, yeah, as I was saying, um, I can't figure this shit out. Why does everyone keep saying that Bam is a fucking regular when he's not? They should know this shit by now, especially considering. He's fucking wanted now by Jahad's army and all. They should at least be prepared to some extent with that knowledge. Or maybe Jahad just doesn't want to tell them because yeah, he's concerned that they will end up turning on him once they find out that there is another one other than Mazino of course, that's an irregular in the tower right now. Cause yeah, that's one of the things for which we won't be getting any fucking answer most likely. But yeah, let's keep reading. First, I'll get rid of this annoying obstacle. Oh lord. I mean, is she really that much of an annoyance? Can't you let the shorty live? Because, you know, she's a body and it's been a while since we've gotten someone the community kind of likes, at least on the outside. That's join our side, you know. Damn it. I'll just have to try to last 10 minutes yeah 10 minutes and after that we'll see <sighs> i won't be saying the sound effects this time how am i supposed to withstand this you are not supposed to honey you stand no fucking chance against this white guy he's too op for your ass and lord all over the place as usual i have no fucking idea what's happening on the, those panels i guess white is just attacking her and she's blocking you know swish and oh ah, is this blood 
Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, I just realized he chopped one of her fucking hands. Boy! Her fucking hand is gone! You look like one of those test subjects, like that thought. Oh fuck, don't compare our girl to that fucker. Which rule are you exempt from? Well, which rule? This is a curse. Yeah. Oh, she can regenerate. Okay, I'm seeing you, I'm seeing you. That's a neat ass ability. Regeneration, huh? Flash. Damn it. It's a good thing he hit my left arm. Huh. You can hear your arm, huh? But yeah, why does she, why does she mention specifically her left arm? Like, can't she do it with any other parts of her body? You can heal your arm, huh? That must be the rule you are allowed to break. Very interesting. That's one weird ass rule, White. Are you sure that's the rule? Because, you know, it doesn't seem logical, but yeah, whatever the fuck. Then again, the last guy you fought wasn't exactly the most logical person out there. He was supposedly made to block every single fucking sword attack out there. But he stood up against you, which was his biggest mistake ever. So yeah, we'll see about that. And it's getting cold here. Sorry for the sound. I'm turning my AC off. Let's keep reading. Shall I tear your yeah? Shall I tear your entire body to pieces to see whether you can heal the rest of your body too? Fuck no. She may be an enemy, but she is the only ally I have right now. I can't just let her die like this, okay, bam? Okay. Stop him. Oh god, if you learn how to make a fucking shield right now, that can stop White's attack. I swear to god. You continue to surprise me. Imagine a regular bro blocking my sword. Again, he's a fucking irregular. What on earth is the rule you're exempt from? Or do any rules apply to you at all? None apply to him. Which makes me think, if he was to have one of his fucking arms torn, what is there to stop him from regenerating? <laughs> It's the same as always. That creepy look in his eyes. Yeah, he's a white ass creeper. He blocked the white sword a regular? Some people have to sacrifice so much to find a way to barely stop my sword. And yet, you block it and avoid it. my attacks like it's nothing. You really are full of surprises. Boy, you bitches, you really want to swallow his power, right? Right? And I don't like it at all. Oi, get back. If you die on screw too, it's okay. You can't avoid uh, Ares' swords anyway. Are you saying you can? Yeah, bitch, no shit. Are you not seeing what's happening right now? Like. He is leagues ahead of you. If you want to, he could kill you as well. The same way White can. Like, I can dodge it. And I've done it before. What the hell is he talking about? Yeah, no shit. He's fought with him before. I may need him to break the spell, but my own survival comes first. Plus, White still hasn't found out which rule I'm exempt from. Okay, so it's not regenerating your hand. Then go ahead and fight if you can. Should I wait to see what happens? Uh, maybe, you know, 10 minutes won't be enough to have a, an outcome on this fight, I'm pretty sure, but yeah. You seem to be getting rather cocky, just because you beat me once in some silly game. Oh shit, I can see it. I can dodge his sword. Swish, slash, swoosh, left, right, shit, bam, okay, okay. Using your fucking hands is not the best option out here. And at least he's attacking back. He's not only, you know, avoiding his attacks. 
slice. How the heck is he avoiding his attacks like that? That regular is way slower than me and yet it's almost like he can predict where White's sword is going. Yeah, no shit. I mean, I'm not sure about the prediction now, but for some reason he can predict them. And White's sword feels completely different from when he was fighting me. It's almost like it wants to draw out more of that boy's power. Yeah, the better he gets, the better for White. Although, at this rate, he keeps going. He may actually end up making Ban too powerful. He's toying with me. He's trying to get me all worked up. He clearly just wants to drag this as much as possible. I bet he wants me to draw out as much power of me as possible before devouring me. It's only been one minute so far. He's so evil. Every second feels so long. There's still lots of time. Is this how the enemies who fought me feel? I mean, um, yeah, probably. Boy, you are far from weak. I have to survive somehow. Don't disappoint me, Slayer Candidate. Well, shit, what kind of fucking attack is this bitch? Like, this fucker takes up the entire space they are fighting on, most likely. You know, the fucking square they are on top of. Come on, think there has to be a way to survive in the next 9 minutes. 9? Wow, shit. 9 minutes. Should I try blocking him with the blue Trisha? I'm not sure how to pronounce this shit. You know, blue Trisha, I think it's pronounced. No, I have to avoid his attacks. This sword isn't going to let me live this time. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, blood? Oh shit. Blood? There's fucking blood. And his fucking torn is out. Well. Shit. Yeah, girl. Shit. What's going on? Is that all I've got? I was hoping you would really whet my appetite. He hasn't just been toying with me. He hasn't even gone and started yet. Bam, you are in a lot of trouble, my guy. Please don't disappoint me. I want you to give me the most ecstatic experience of any soul I've ever hunted. Bitch, get out of here. Go after fucking Jehad or some shit. Stop playing with my boy. If you don't start meeting my expectations, I'm just going to have to kill you. Can I do this? I guess I have to. My master is waiting for me. Yeah, this shit as well, man. You can make a fucking mistake. One wrong move and your master's head is gone, you know? Not like his fucking head, literally, but yeah. He's dead. The moment you made a fucking mistake. <sighs> I have to stay alive and reach the finish line. This is getting bigger. Or at least it looks like the tone is getting bigger in this panel. It's impossible to stop White if he decides to attack for Rio anyway. I'll just have to dodge his attack, look for a weak point and try to attack him. We will be able to find one though. Oh shit, he's bringing out the Trisus. Okay, okay. Once. Shit, boy. Twice. After the third time, I'm not going easy on you anymore. Hmm. No. If I think about this, there ain't no way he's gonna get out of this without pulling some kind of bullshit. I have. Yeah. I hate counting to numbers higher than three. They just don't feel complete. Wow. He ended up grabbing him. Don't even think of sneaking away. Burn all that power within you with every bit of strength you've got. I don't care if you have to beg the souls within you or you have to devour them mercilessly. Just make, make them come out. Just as I. Yeah. Just as I and countless others have done. You have to give up on your humanity. 
if you want real power. Only then we will be truly human. The thing is, I don't like the way things are going. At all. This entire arc. Except from Ivan Kiel, everyone else is pretty much against someone way above their league at this point. Like, as I said, I'm predicting that Yama will end up losing his battle for real. Like, he pretty much did. He lost his battle against Yasracha. Yasracha is leagues above him, I think. Or at least it seems like this to me. And now this shit with Bam. He wasn't exactly supposed to go against White in this situation, but still, White is a bitch, so he decided to do it anyway. And I don't see a way of Bam getting out of here without following White's way. Because yeah, there ain't no other way right now he can get some kind of power up. And the others are pretty much useless if it wasn't for Cha. So, yeah, shit's not going good at all. As I said, I think that by the end of it, his master will die. Why is White so obsessed with him? He's just a regular. What's with all of us? And what's with that look on White's face? I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, and it almost reminds me of what Army Corp Commander Lybrick felt. Inferiority. Now that you bring it up, it is like that, for real. But why would a legendary high ranker feel inferior to a, a regular? Because he's an irregular. Mm -hmm. White's. White's a big bitch with inferiority complex, like not a little bitch because he's strong as fuck. I'm not messing around anymore. Don't you dare save your powers to get to your master when you're fighting me. No other attacks can hurt me. Why the hell are you so determined to pick on me and the people around me? <sighs> Draining. As it may be, I will have to use Shinsu Black Hole Sphere. Hop. Pow. Well, shit. That's the life he used against me a minute ago, but it's way stronger now. Well, shit. Yeah, I don't think this attack will do anything against White. At least for now. His fucking arm! Or both of his arms? No, no, actually it's one of his arms. For a second it looked like he pierced through both of them. Let me ask you something. Why were you born as someone I have to hate? Why did you have to appear in this tower and keep showing yourself around me without ever changing? It's not that I hate you, it's your very existence that simply compels me to hate you. It's all your fault. Stop getting on my nerves. I'll say it again. I want to see you corrupted. Damn. A flashback? Right now? What is it, Lord Joaquin? Just recently, you were so excited to have been selected for the training squad because you would get to see your father up close. Is the training squad wearing you out? It's just my father changed again. What? He doesn't have the same look in his eyes as when I first was selected when I was chosen. I felt genuine warmth in his gaze, but now he looks at me with the same scary coldness as before. Oh, I mean, your father is kind of a bitch, so what do you expect? I'm sure it's because I'm not meeting his expectations. I'm trying so hard, but no matter how hard I try, it's never good enough for him. If I can't get my father's acknowledgement, then there was no point in working so hard to come this far. When I see the changed look in his eyes, it feels like I'm trapped in an icy glacier. I'm sorry to hear that, my lord. But I'm sure he hasn't changed. What? As far as I know, your father never changed. I've heard that your father has never ever changed. Ever since long before we were gone. 
to someone with his sense of time we are just like little incense just passing by so i'm sure that you haven't changed him my lord but i'm sure yeah so it's not only against bam white most likely feels inferior to his father as well like ever since this moment in his childhood he's felt inferior no he hasn't changed if anything's changed it's probably you my lord i've changed me yeah out of the blood i have changed yep why don't you ever change father you're like a lake that cannot be stirred by any stone that i throw or a tree that never gives any fruit no matter how loudly i chirp and peck at it i'm trying so hard to please you why does nothing ever work well shit i mean finally we're getting some backstory i mean we already had some backstory for white but now we are getting even deeper into his thoughts and all i'm doing my best to get your acknowledgement father father <laughs> why did you have to say that i hate you now this blood never comes off of my hands because of you no matter how hard i scrub my hands that blood will never come off you stain my hands with blood it's all your fault that unchanging look in your eyes go ahead it's easy morality always comes with so much struggle but giving in to corruption is so easy reminds me so much of my father damn boy let's get into chapter 80 of season 3 and while it's loading since this bitch is slow as fuck as usual because it's my fucking pc let me switch layouts and tell you my thoughts because yeah i said let me switch layouts bitch The fucking key button didn't work, whatever the fuck. Uh, at least for now the recording is well. So, my thoughts on, well, chapter 79 for now. It was a good one, as I've already said. The situation seems to be getting worse and worse progressively, as you see. Our boys are in a bit of a, you know, problem right now. Because, yeah. And there is another thing, even if they manage to save, you know, Bam's master, Jin, what comes after that? You know, I mean, Bam already said he doesn't care how many people die as long as he manages to save him. But the problem isn't that, the problem is that Jihad is already on your ass and all of the families are on your ass as well. And there is also the thing that Rachel is literally nowhere to be seen yet and it's been 80 fucking episodes of season 3 for which i'm happy by the way hopefully we don't get to see her until season 4 comes around or some shit like that because yeah i don't want to see that bitch ever again or maybe next time we see i want to see fucking wang nan standing on top of her corpse you know i hope that wang has killed her but that won't happen we all know that because she is too important to be killed that way off screen i mean so yeah, with that being said, White's backstory, yeah, pretty much as ex expected, except the thing about blood, I never thought that we would see him saying something like this, like, he literally blames someone else, his father, for the blood he has on his hands, up until now, I've always thought that it was just because he wanted power and all, and that he never regretted it for any reason. But the fact that he blames his father for the blood means that at least once upon a time he regretted doing this and heading down this path. And now because he sees Bam, in a sense he sees himself heading in a different path and he doesn't like it because, you know, he's acting like a little bitch. He doesn't want to accept that he chose, yeah, he made a wrong choice in his life and there is no turning back and he wants Bam to do the same choice as him because he doesn't want someone 
in a similar situation getting stronger without becoming corrupt. So yeah, that's pretty much my analysis on this chapter. Let's see, okay, the other chapter loaded. Let's start reacting to Season 3 Chapter 80 right now. Bam is such a bitch, I mean, no, uh, this is something in my chat. No, Bam is not a bitch. Bam, bitch mate, Rachel, die bitch. I mean, Rachel, okay, but Bam, no, Bam has developed a lot in comparison to before, so... No, I'm not on the same page with you. Whatever, man. Oh, we're back to Yama. Unlike you felines, we kinines have something called pride. And this panel looks good as fuck. I'll never beg you for anything. Oh, you're just as stubborn as your father. Looks like this is going to take longer than I thought. I hope you won't regret your decision. Boy... Boy, this fucking panel, those fucking colors. Boy, I'm in love with this. I hope you won't regret your decision. Regret? I never regret anything. See, the thing is though, Yama, as I've already said, you are fucked up as hell right now. Like, all of the blood coming out of you, I know. I don't think you stand a chance, considering you've literally not made even a fucking scratch on Yastracha yet. Boy. It's the same thing again. He runs away and I can't catch him. At this rate, I'm going to end up wasting another turn. I have to find some way to catch him. And after that, what? Can you do some damage to him? Can you, you know, hurt him enough so that he loses? I doubt it, Yama. You won't be able to do shit, my man. Then again, it's not like he can back up right now, because yeah, he has no fucking choice. Yama's complete transformation of both arms. Transcendent skill. Can I destruction? Boy, whoa, that's actually not a bad attack at all. <laughs> Boy, this shit looks like a fucking bomb has been dropped on this fucking place. Yeah, he has no shit. Not even a single fucking scratch after all of this. You should see the look on your face. I guess you thought that attack would turn the tide for you. Why didn't the attack work on him? Is he some kind of a beast? How many more people like him are there in Jahat's army? Shit ton of people, I'm pretty sure. That's what I'm getting from your face. Why are you so surprised? I already told you how this battle is going to end and I've been telling you guys as well. Like, I have the feeling that Yama will lose. What? I planted fear in you, and that's why your attacks won't work against me. I told you I would spare you if you beg for your life and this shit kinda makes no sense to me about the fear and all, but you know it's tower belt. It's a fucking weapon, so I won't complain and I'll just keep reading. If you really don't get it, then I'll make you understand. Boy, is he Is he transforming? I told you, remember? I can do anything you can do. Oh, oh, oh boy. Boy, he's transforming. Well, shit, Yama. I'm sorry, my man. What's he doing? He can do anything I can do. Wait a minute, is he? Yup. Is he doing a complete transformation? Shit. Eat your heart out. This is the complete transformation you have wanted to achieve so badly. That was probably... Boy, what on earth is this shit? That was probably the first time in his life. Oh, tremble. <laughs> tremble, oh shit. 
What kind of bitch ass mall is this shit? What the fuck is this form? It looks lit though, literally. Not only because there is fucking fire coming out of it. That was probably the first time in his life that Yama, that he experienced such pure primal fear. She... She... I don't care if he loses, but please, on God, don't kill off Yama. I like him as a character. Please just let him live. Please. Boy. This bitch has no fucking legs as well. Fucking hell. Is that a complete transformation? I'm scared, okay. He's now thinking it. And he's screaming though. Huh. I won't scream. Yama cried out. He roared. As though he wanted to release all the fear inside of him. But the more he shouted, the stronger the fear got. And there was no way to stop it. Shit. Remember back in the beginning of season 3 when we thought that Yama was too OP? Well, that's gone out of the window now. Hasn't it? Don't kill him. Please, Hong Kong, don't kill him. Please? Okay, he's still alive for now. Okay, he stands no fucking chance, man. Unless he gets this complete ass transformation or whatever the fuck it is. And even with it, he can't do shit. He's too afraid. Boy. Boy. Fucking blah. Shit, 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 shit. What the fuck is happening in this panel? He's trying to dodge the fucking attacks, but. Yes, Racha. Yeah. Yeah, they make it look like this attack did some kind of shit in the background, but it didn't do anything. I'm sure. Like, literally, look. Yasrachi is just attacking back. And he's hitting Yama. Boy. Swirl. I just give up on this fight. But I've already told you what I'm thinking of the outcome. Like, can we just end this shit already? I don't want to keep saying this guy struggle against Yasrachev. Just please let him live. That's all the thing I want from the fuck. For fuck's sake, look the way he's grabbed him by the fucking face. Look at this shit. He's literally grabbed him by the fucking face. Like. Next time you want to act, next time you want to act out like that, be careful who you mess with. Fuck. He's doing a fucking bomb. Fucking nuclear ass bomb or some shit. Like, look at this bitch. To be continued. The fucking ad. Fuck you. No. I'm not reading through the fucking ad. <sighs> yeah, there was an ninja tattoo in that. Boy. So this chapter changed pretty much nothing. I thought that it would be another chapter that continues the fight between Bam and White. But no, they just switched up sides again and we went to Yama's side. 
Another thing I want to see is Evan Kill side because we don't know what that business she talked about is. And I'm curious what it is because you know, obviously I'm curious. I want to know that. But yeah, man, I don't think Bam will be able to save Jin at this pace. And even if he does, he will pretty much useless at this point. Like he's so beat up, his fucking you know legs and hands are gone and. Shit's pointless at this point, man. Fucking hell. But yeah. Also, when the fuck... It's uh, actually not that relevant right now, but... When the fuck are we gonna get some kind of power for... Rack? Because yeah, Kun... Kun has been okay. He got that power up with the fish and all. Uh, last arc. But Rack, we just got some kind of glimpse about all of those stones and shit, but... Never anything else. Like, do some build up about that, please, on God. We haven't seen him in like what, 30 chapters now or even more? I don't know. But yeah, man, whatever. Well, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Anyway, that being said, I think I'm in this reaction right now because you've already seen what I think and there's pretty much nothing else left to say or then shit's messed up right now so yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed the reaction if you did smash the like because it helps me subscribe if you're new to the channel join my discord the link is down in the description below as well as a link to my twitch and to my twitter I'm not using twitter pretty much at all I'm using it only for art and you know Seeing art and shit, not posting art. But yeah, just join my Twitch and my Discord, man. Anyway, I'll see you guys in another action. Bye bye.